Hi, this is Ken with VOD TV. We're here in Austin at the uh, Parks Associates Smart Energy Summit, but we're here with Ann Schaub of uh, Verizon, and Verizon is doing some really neat things in terms of energy management. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing? That would be great. Thanks, Ken. We are very, uh, very excited to be doing wor um, work around home energy management and home controls, and in particular in the home energy management, giving the customers some tools and some things that they can put in their home to help them understand how they're using energy in their home, what their whole house energy consumption is, and, and linking them through to some trusted partners who can actually help them understand ways that they can be better energy consumers and make smart decisions about how they can reduce energy in their home. Well, and this, you know, you made a lot of buzz about this at CES, but uh, in its significance, since you are, uh, you know, innovators with Fios and have so many broadband lines, it seems like, uh, you know, central to what you're doing is broadband. Absolutely. In fact, one of the big things that we considered as we built out this product and the platform it rides on is making sure that it's open to any broadband customer. So while when we launch our product, we'll be focused on the Verizon broadband DSL and Fios customers, absolutely there's an opportunity to expand beyond that into customers who have other alternative broadband connections, you know, even up to and including LTE as our Verizon wireless counterparts roll that out um, in the upcoming months. That's, that's interesting. So you could actually uh, get this as a standalone service, not necessarily as a bundle um, with your other services. That's right. The plan is initially to roll it out as a standalone, but it does it does offer a really nice bundling opportunity, and it is something that we'll absolutely look at as we understand how consumers attach to it and what they're interested in doing. But right out of the gate, it'll be a standalone product, something that we elevate as something more than just a traditional value-added service. In fact, we've given it on our homepage its own tab under residential services. So you'll see voice uh, TV and internet, and now you will see connected home services as well. Well, you know, Verizon has the advantage of, uh, of being a big name and, and having good visibility in the marketplace and so forth, but uh, educating the consumer about, you know, what connected home means, uh, right. how's that going to happen? You know, it's a really interesting opportunity for us to redefine how we communicate to consumers about what they need. For so long we've been talking about broadband and speeds and feeds and now we have a real opportunity now that there are several things that have happened. One, just really great penetration of broadband across the area. And then second, the proliferation of things like smartphones and smart tablets that allow the customer the ability to control those devices, whether they're and the things on their broadband connection, whether at their home or away. And it's a seamless way that they can control their home appliances and their home um, energy services. Well, it seems like, and I think you alluded to this a moment ago, but you're really bringing an ecosystem with this offering. Yeah, I think the thing that we're doing is not individually so no, so unique, but really collectively really something special. So today, consumers can go to you know any number of outlets and get cameras or door locks or sensors, and you can download an app. There's an app for everything, and you can download those apps, and so you may have three or four different applications that you need to access to control all the devices in your home. Verizon's proposition really revolves around a unified control panel, where from one single site, we've done that lift. We've we've integrated all those various devices into a single application so that you log on once and you can get to whether they're your cameras or sensors or door locks or your energy readers. And we've done it in a way that it works whether you're sitting in front of the TV if you're a Fios TV customer and you can pull up and actually control things from your smartphone if you're away from home. So if you're at work and you know that it's a little bit chilly, maybe you want to turn up that heat or your child's forgot their key and you want to unlock that door lock, you don't have to go to a lot of different portals to get there. One stop gets you everything that you need. So, you know, the value proposition then for the consumer is, is it the, you know, the sum of all these little parts is more than if you did them individually? Yeah, I mean, being the, the CIO of your home is not the easiest thing given all of the gizmos and gadgets that are available today. So for Verizon to provide you with a very easy way for you to be able to control those devices, but also taking that control and elevating it. So we've created something we call modes. And, we, and the consumer can participate in creating their own mode, but one that we like to talk about is the sleep mode. So you've got a sleep mode, and when you click sleep on your remote, because who hasn't crawled into bed at 11.30 just to 
wonder, did they lock all the doors right. and did they turn off the lights? Now you click the sleep mode and boom, your outside lights go on, your inside lights go off. You set the thermostat and if you have a security system, then you can also um, connect into that and set those controls as well. And the alarm probably goes on on your radio. <laughs> and that would be a great thing too. Well, it sounds like uh, and you're really just at the beginning of this. Uh, you're talking about coming out with it sometime later this year? Absolutely. Our plan is to launch here nationwide in the second quarter in all of our areas that we offer broadband services in. And do you see it as, uh, in terms of features, adding more features over time? Yeah, I think the, the really great thing that we've thought about is from a consumer's perspective, simplicity is so important. So we talked a bit about the user interface and how simple we've made that, but our whole pricing structure is very simple. So we have a single monthly um, access fee that you pay for this. And then irregardless of how many peripherals, if you want one camera or five cameras, if you want a, uh, an energy kit, if you want to have door locks, it doesn't matter how many peripherals you want. As long as they interoperate with our platform, the price per month is still the same. And so from a, um, a consumer perspective, you make it very simple and you're able to again, add features as you go along. And, uh, and, and really it sounds like what you're doing is simplifying the experience for the consumer. Well, absolutely. And so while we start with ideas around home control and energy management as two really natural places for us to, to, to start with, we absolutely see those adjacent places that make so much sense, like going into wellness. I mean, lots of interest around that area as that area matures and we understand how consumers are going to respond and want to interact with that, we'll absolutely be looking to bring that in as an example. And I'm just uh, kind of a, a question of curiosity. Uh, we interviewed Joe uh, Ambo a few months ago, and he talked about how you're using the Fios customers to give you feedback as to what they like, what they didn't. Or do you plan on using that same kind of innovation to innovate? Absolutely. So we have forums that we've built up on our website where people can engage. We will be, you know, having focus groups. We're going to be doing a readiness test with both our FIOS and our HSI customers coming up here also in the second quarter where we'll look for their feedback, not only about the devices, but was it as easy to install mm -hmm. as we think it is? Um, was the price compelling? Were the services compelling? And was the user experience, which we've spent so much time to make sure we get right, actually the way we want it to work? Well, Anna, I appreciate your time and, uh, and good luck with this uh, Thank launch. Thank you very much, Ken. Thanks.